Hi, it's Tarina. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. Here you will find makeup, hair, all things beauty and lifestyle content. So hang out and subscribe. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of One Good Thing. I have my notes right here so I didn't forget for this week. Today, I'm gonna go over my one good thing. I hope you have yours too, and make sure you write it down in the comments so that we can talk about it. I attend this meeting, it's about twice a month. It is called Iwakuni Ladies Tea. It's a gathering of different cultures and Japanese locals come. We just enjoy each other's company, pretty much. We do crafts, we chat, we eat, we sip tea, coffee. If you don't like that, just bring some water or something like that. At Ladies Tea, we talked about New Year traditions. One of the ladies started talking about Japanese traditions and I was just like, oh, <laughs> it is so neat, the type of things that Japanese have for New Year. The ones that really caught my attention and is my one good thing is traditions they have around food. There's all different types of food that have different meaning. The different food kind of brings you into that new year. I'll let you take a look briefly of some of the things that we discussed there. Why do we make a special food? Why? They usually busy. So New Year's Day, uh, three days, we don't necessary to make a food, prepare food for family. Oh, I like so that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we prepare a uh, special food. So each food has a special meaning. Ayumi is preparing some soba noodles here. She's also cutting up some fish cake into a little rabbit, symbolizing the year of the rabbit. So cute. Or kawaii. Soba noodles is one of the ones that I have done personally here. I went to a soba making class and it is so fun and cool what they do for the soba noodles. It's pretty simple, but it's a lot of work when you're like kneading the soba noodles and things like that. Tomoko-san was talking about some of the traditions surrounding food. When I was asked, I was like, I don't think I have any. But then I saw something that my mom posted on her Facebook about filled peas and okra. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that when I was younger, I did not like beans. So anything beans, I did not like the texture. So it's not something that I carried on to my own family. But the joke is on me because now my son doesn't like anything beans and my husband doesn't like okra. So that's a tradition that we're not carrying on over here, which is so random because my son and my husband are not picky eaters. I guess if I would have eaten more peas and okra on New Year's and New Year's Day, then maybe I'll have a little bit more luck. I don't know, you be the judge. So I looked it up and from what I gathered, when you eat peas and okra on New Year's Eve or either New Year's Day, it symbolizes luck and prosperity. This has gone back to like the Civil War times when they had peas and okra because that's what they ate and they felt lucky to be able to have a meal. The other thing that I saw, the peas symbolizes coins and the green color and the food symbolizes money. Going back to my one good thing, I have such a connection with food. I feel like food really brings people together to experience and learn what the Japanese culture has and what my own culture has with food, I just thought it was a full circle moment and it was really, really neat. Learning about culture is 
so interesting and inspiring to me. Being able to share cultures and learn about people as well as people learning about me, I think is such a good thing and so awesome and positive. So that is my one good thing for the week. What's yours? Do you have any kooky or neat or awesome traditions that you do for New Year or New Year's Eve, write in the comment section and let me know what are your New Year traditions. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know what your good thing of the week is. It can be something small, it can be something really big. I would love to hear it. Check me out on my other socials, it's Tarina, or my website, it's Tarina.com. Or you can check out the video before this or some of my others. Follow this series, One Good Thing. See you on the next one. Bye.